Hi guys. Hi guys, how are you doing? So, I'm trying to play a prank on my dad. I told him that I'm trying to release my own perfume line, so I have a sample. This is fart spray, but I'm going to pretend like it's my perfume line. I'll tear off this label now so he doesn't suspect. So let's see his reaction to my perfume line that I'm about to release. It smells really bad. It smells like fart. Like, I want to throw up. Update guys, I've been able to tear off the part that says fart spray. It doesn't it just puts F A and S B. It doesn't indicate that it's fart spray anymore. So let's go try this perfume of mine. Okay. Daddy, come closer. Hmm? Does it kill anything? No, so I need you to review my perfume line. I'm trying to start a perfume line, so I need you to I'm gonna spray this is a sample. So I'm going to spray it and then you tell me what it smells like, you know. So um, this one I'm going to post for people. So at least if they know that they, they like you, they love you on Instagram. So if you tell them that it's nice, it's going to help me generate sales. Okay? Right. So it's called the Beams Body Mist. Okay? The Beams Body Mist. So tell me what you think. Ah. What do you call it? <laughs> what do you call it? Is it perfume? Yeah, perfume. Uh, Jenny, please come. Ah, Papa, Grandpa is calling you. Daddy, what's wrong with it? Uh, what do I what do I say about this? This can't Just be perfect. Daddy, this wait. Jenny, spray this in. How did this? In? How does Ew, it? How does it? Don't say that. No, like, no, no, no. Don't say that on camera, Daddy. No, now I didn't ask you. You want me to tell people like mm. no. it's not say it's good at least. Do I can never still? say this. Is it good, Jenny? Of course not. It's not. <laughs> no, it's not good though. It's not, you can't say people to, to women being you can't say this to women being. It's not good. <laughs> okay, Daddy, I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> We're so glad you're our dad. We love you so very much. Love, joy, and ruby. Oh, love, love, love. Like, it's so cute. How cute is this card we made for Abuka? All the kids made it. <laughs> um, his favorite food is yam. Uh, Daddy loves to watch football and morning news and go to the gym three words to describe daddy handsome loving and funny uh dad the best thing about him is he pays for everything we want he sacrifices for us his morning kisses he's also the most famous man in the world <laughs> uh, uh daddy always says you're dry huh lily every time i pat Sleepy head, lazy bones. So Ibuka's wife took the kids to see her father and they entertained him with lovely dance moves. Sit up, hoping to really push forward and school some girls. Your smile. Like the so guys, I want to seize this opportunity to celebrate exceptional fathers, exceptional celebrity fathers, non-celebrity fathers, and um, maybe highlight on the worst celebrity fathers, which y'all, if you lay full, Judy's concubine is number one. So guys, first things first. Ashanti celebrated Nelly on stage, brought balloons. Guys, have you seen the Ashanti's latest interview with uh, Entertainment Today? 
I can't even remember again the name of that, but it's on YouTube. You can Google it. It's all over the place where she talked about how Nelly proposed to her when she was in his shirt and boxes, like it wasn't even planned. And she said their relationship is way calmer now because, of course, they are older. Unlike before, they will leave the house, slam the doors. This time, when they have issues, they like sit and have proper conversation so for her it's a lot different now and uh, she also talked about how i could but tmz tmz is reporting that they had like a court wedding in december i don't know how true that is tmz said they had a court wedding but ashanti said she's she isn't ready to have like a wedding right now until she has put to bed and it's going to be like a caribbean like team and all that she's super excited and she is glowing with pregnancy and then the interviewer asked her if um who she has to thank for their reconciliation the reconciliation between ashanti and nelly and she said she will thank Jaru, she will thank Fat Joe, Jimmy Dupri, and also her DJ. That was her DJ who gave Nelly her number. To be very honest, uh, this Ashanti and Nelly's relationship, uh, it makes me so excited. It's not every time we get to see Spin the Blocks who are hopelessly in love with each other the way these two are in love with each other. I just pray and hope the last like i really do pray because this jennifer lopez and ben affleck thing is really like i don't know it's it has bothered me so much because i was a fan of their ship like a huge fan of their ship guys sorry for deviating this is supposed to be about father's day right so let's see some of our favorite celebrity fathers how many points did you make today to basketball? Game? Twelve. You made twelve? Mm-hmm. Later, how many did you make today? One. I mean my whole team Well you guys won. Yeah, but yeah, but my whole team did thirty-four. Four. That's my boy, that's my girl. Chop my c this life I can't keep myself. So guys, you saw Paul of P Square being a doting dad, regardless of the estranged relationship between him and his wife. Here we have Obi Kubana and his family. Obi Kubana is one person I admire so much. I am always talking about how much of a fantastic father he is. The other day I shared like a, a video of him on Facebook and somebody was like, he may not even be a present dad. Maybe they just, his children are just excited around him and maybe they are pretending social media. You cannot tell. I have a friend her husband is not present but whenever he shows up the children are excited and all that and i was like from the way the children relate with obi you can tell that he is very soft he's very gentle with them he is not the type of father that when he comes into the house everybody disappears and i can see from videos how much time he tries okay fine even if he's faking it at least he's spending quality time with them sometimes a full day they are having fun he travels to the uk every other time and i don't know like i feel like he is a fantastic father in my opinion so we have nelly we have um in fact toby bakri should be here toby is a good father too we have um definitely we have ebuka ebuka is a fantastic father i love the bond he shares with his girls we have uh, who else do we have we have a uh, paul of peace square even his brother peter in fact i should actually have like a comprehensive list of fantastic celebrity dads but when it comes to the worst celebrity dads we have yol we have harry song we have uh, who else can you think of i think i don't know if i should include portable that one said but they see him as person we bring no to complete so let me remove him who else i am thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking but yo nobody's dragging his position with him it's his permanent place like it's almost like a forever thing, even though he's a uh, concubine, things otherwise. 
who else guys who can you think of guys among celebrity a fantastic celebrity that who, ah, junior pope god rest his soul chai junior pope was a good father my people he was a good father that guy was a fantastic ah junior pope was a good father it's just sad things ended and that's why i just feel so bad for his kids because they know what it means to be pampered you know what it means to be spoiled by your dad <sighs> guys sometimes i wonder this life is not fair god should have saved junior pope and taking you to chill hey chineke namon